Hello guys, welcome to today's video, and today we're going to be comparing the uh, Lucky Prospect deck with the Lucky Crew deck. So, let's get started. Um, starting off for the Prospect deck, this is the lighter of the two, I th think, because this one feels a lot heavier, and this is the Crew deck. And this is the 2016 model, which came with the 2016 Crew. Now the Crew is basically like the, um, the beginner level scooter that Lucky makes, so like for entry level riders. And this is the Prospect, which is for more advanced riders, so like intermediate. So yeah, like I said, the crew is definitely the more, you know, hefty of the two. Um, I want to say this one's probably like, I'm terrible at guessing weights, but the crew is heavier than the Prospect. So if you're going for lightweight, the Prospect's probably the better choice of the two. And, um... Yeah, so the crew deck is actually about an inch shorter than the prospect deck. So if you have bigger feet, then the prospect is probably the better choice for you. And as you can see, both of them are dinged up. They both actually have lasted pretty long considering all the use that I've gotten out of them. So that's pretty impressive. I've never had a lucky deck snap on me. I've never had any deck snap on me, but I, I don't really hear of lucky deck snapping all that too much. All that too much. That wasn't a sentence. Whew, sorry, it's been a long day. But, um, yeah, so like I said, these are both built to last. I believe they're made with aircraft grade aluminum. So, the same stuff that's on your Southwest Airlines. That was a bad joke. But, yeah, so both of these are very well made. Um, I've had this one for about three years now. I got this in June of 2016. I didn't really get, like, serious into scootering, like, actually trying to learn tricks until, like, late 2017. But, yeah, this thing has withstanded a lot of uh, abuse by me and my friends. So, this, if you're going for a uh, long-lasting scooter, the 2016 crew is probably going to be better for you. Or, better. Really good if you're an entry-level scooter and you want it to last. I can't say the same for the newer ones because I do not own any of the new ones. But I assume they're pretty much the same. For the Prospect deck, like I said, this is lighter, so it's the better chest, better choice if you're going for a lightweight scooter. Um, like I said, this one's about an inch longer. And both the head tubes, head tubes I think, are 82 degrees. At least that's what it says on their website. I could be wrong, but it, I think it's 82 degrees. And looking at them, I think this one's... Um, dang it, I can't remember what this is called. But the part that connects to the bars, this one looks different from the other one. I don't know if it looks that way in camera, but like from my angle it looks different, so... No. That was loud. But yeah, if I were to make a custom build, I'd probably choose this one just because I have... I have another Prospect deck on my current scooter. These are just two spares in case that one snaps. But yeah, if I were to build a custom build and actually ride it, I would probably choose the Prospect just because I'm more... You know, I'm used to this deck. Then this one, and they're about the same width actually, so, except this one's longer. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, hopefully I helped you out with your decision to buy a new scooter deck, and I will see you guys in the next video, goodbye.